Microsoft Video is always sold separately from the rest of the Microsoft apps. In July, Microsoft started to roll out Visual for the web for all customers who has Office 365 or Microsoft 365. This is extremely important for hybrid work because now you can create diagrams effectively and collaborate for everyone within your organization over the web. Now let me show you how Visual for the web works and how you can use them in the Microsoft apps like Teams as well as Excel. Well, here I am in office.com. Once Visual on the web is available, end users will see this as an option in all the applications. Now here I am at the Visual for the web home screen. I will see new blank drawing, different templates, recommended diagram drawing, all my files, whether being shared or others shares to me, my recent, as well as some of the favorites that I have pinned and saved. And there are quite a bit of templates available. I can click on more templates. This will bring me to the template page where I see popular templates, basic, as well as some complex ones like network diagrams, AWS, as well as Azure diagrams. For example, I can create an integrated on-premise AD diagram drawing just by picking this template and click Create. This basically creates very quickly an Azure diagram with on-premise AD integration. You can see all the shapes on the left and can add new ones from other shapes as well if I need to. The ribbons are all available in a typical web view for me to use. Now let's switch to Teams. Here, as you can see, I've pinned a visual diagram to my Teams for collaboration. I still have the visual web view. I have the diagram as well as different shape I can use on the left. On the right, I have Teams chat open. This is where I can have a interactive discussion with my team members. They can ask questions. The entire Teams feature chat comes alive with your visual diagram for collaboration. Last but not least, in Excel, you can use Visual as well. Under the Insert tab, in the Add-in, you will actually see a digital visualizer by Visual. I can click on this. Again, this will give me different few suggestions and basic flowchart that I can use together with Excel. For example, let's just quickly create an organizational chart and let me just choose the vertical one. But this quickly create a vertical organizational chart and gave me the data in Excel for me to add a change. For example, now I'm going to promote Ali to a manager and I'll add a new employee called Richard. Richard just a engineer and uh, he will report to Ali and I'll, I'll just assign stuff. Refresh your visual, voila, Richard is added. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed the video. Do look out visual for the web in your tenant. Once ready, give it a try.